body. Receive. Good to see. Good morning. God is great. All the time. God is great. Welcome to First United Methodist Church to all who are worshiping with us today. Our vision here is to welcome everyone. We want to be food for the hungry, living water for the thirsty. This is a safe place for all ages to worship, to learn, to grow, and to become faithful disciples of Jesus. Children, we celebrate your smiles, energy, wiggles, and giggles. Welcome to all who are here today. Let's worship and praise God together. Announcements. I believe we have script for sale after the service. If anyone needs to acquire some script uh, cards, check the circuit writer because there's all sorts of things coming up in the coming weeks that are very exciting. I know Melissa... Buchanan will be here uh, this Saturday, I believe, 8 o'clock in the morning, for uh, her presentation, and that'll be downtown at the Fellowship Hall. Contact Next Martha week, Davidson. Not this week, Next, the following week. The following week. I'm a week ahead in my brain. The 26th, I think it's the 20th, 26th. 26th. The 26th. Yes. Next Saturday isn't the 26th? No. Oh, boy. Okay, then. <laughs> 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 Got an extra week in there somehow. Um, there's an alpha course. It's going to be starting Thursday, October 31st. See Ann Callison for that. Um, I heard great news about the salad luncheon. It seemed very well attended at the time, but we had, what, $3,000? Around $3,000 at the end of the day. So that is fantastic news. Um, for those of you who might need hymnals, since we don't have pews, we've got hymnals back on the back table, uh, if you would prefer them over the slides. And Praise in the Park at 9.15 has become Praise in the Hall, because it poured rain this morning. So we will be in Fellowship Hall downtown instead of in the park at 9.15. And I think that's all I've got. How about you? Uh, <coughs> Jackie has something. I saw her hand. Yes. Next, next Saturday, since you don't have to go to Missy next Saturday, I have an option for you. You may have noticed that we painted Pastor Kay's office before he moved in, and it looked wonderful. But it just pointed out to us how badly the offices need to be repainted. So on Friday and Saturday from 9 to 4, I'm trying to get some teams to each help paint one of the offices at the church. Um, probably not a good time for a first time painter, but anybody that likes to paint, we would love to have you. I have a sign up sheet. We're just gonna work from nine to four each of those days. And I figured if we had four teams of two, it takes about that long to paint one of the sections of the offices. And so we have four rooms to paint and I'd love to have some help. So see me after church for the sign up or call me let me know. There will be snacks and beverages available to keep you hydrated and energized. So come join us. Great, great opportunity to serve your church. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you, Jackie. <laughs> this Wednesday is our kickoff for our youth season. We will be at Pawnee Park East Shelter, and we are going to have an epic water battle along with the picnic. So that will be from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Pawnee Park East Shelter. And then the following week, we're going to be here, and it'll be exciting to have our youth back in this building for another youth season. So stay tuned for more. Indeed. Does anybody else have anything we're forgetting? No? Okay, then please join us in our call to worship. Oh, altar flowers are for oh. Justin and Chris King for the celebration of their 35th wedding anniversary. Yes, it is. Yay, congratulations. Thank you. Our call to worship comes to us from Psalm 105, verses 1 through 6, 16 through 22, and 45b. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. 
sing, sing to him, him. Sing, sing praises to him, him. Tell, tell of all, all his wonderful works. Glory in his name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek, seek the, the Lord and, and his strength. strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. When he summoned famine against the land and broke every staff of bread, he had sent a man ahead of them. Joseph, who was sold as a slave. His feet were hurt with fetters. His neck was put in a collar of iron. Until what he had said came to pass, the word of the Lord kept testing him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions to instruct his officials at his pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Please join us in our opening hymn, number 398, Jesus Calls Us. This time is a children's lesson uh, where our children join for today's lessons. So, or if you feel you are the child of God, I know we are all child of God, isn't it? So, but uh, as we now ha don't have it, the infants or what, uh, so would you, somebody, would you like to join in or have, say, having uh, some candy so you can have a uh, join the children's <laughs> lessons? The candies make you sweet. So please come and enjoy the time together. Do I have any young at heart that would be willing to come on up? See what I got in my bag? Oh, we want to sing those together. <laughs> <laughs> we want to sing. And anybody else young that would like to come on up? got to put in the sack something. So I know what it is, but you don't. And I did follow the rules. It is not alive. It has never been alive. It is not messy, and it will not hurt me. Oh. It's a Tickle Me Elbow. Isn't that cute? OK, are you ready? You gotta talk louder. Can you hear it at all? Better it's be. really quiet.
They used to be really big. But I found this one. I used it with youth a couple years ago. And we were talking about laughter. And I don't know if any of you like to laugh, but I love to laugh. And I remember when Tickle Me Elmo's first came out, I couldn't stop laughing. I just thought they were hilarious. hilarious. And they also shook. So we had gotten one for, it was either Rebecca or Nicholas, and they would hold it and it would shake and their whole bodies would shake and their eyeballs would shake. And it was just so funny watching the kids with the Tickle Me Elmo. Well, it's really hard to find a Tickle Me Elmo anymore that's not really super expensive. So I found this one and it still makes me laugh. It still puts a smile on my face. And I started thinking about how many times God gives me an opportunity to laugh. And kids make me laugh. They say the funniest things sometimes. I don't know if you've noticed that about kids, but they can say something sometimes that just leaves you laughing. And it's like having a little Tickle Me Elmo in our presence. And I just, I want to say thanks to God for all the children in our lives, the children of our church. And so will you join me in prayer? This is a repeat after me prayer. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For all of your precious children. For your, all of your precious children. Of any age. Of any age. And thank you for laughter. Thank you for the laughter. For giving us. For giving us. The gift. And gift. Of smiles. Smile. Wiggles. And wiggle. And giggles. And giggles. It shows us, it shows us how, much you love us. how much you love us. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, let us sing together, Love Divine, All Love Excelling, the page on 384. Would you stand if you can?
May be seated. Today, I just want to share one of the joy. So, as you know, we our Methodist system, we have a bishop. So, in our great plains, we have one bishop. So, I just eagerly sometimes asking him to visit our church, and finally he comes. I just really appreciate it. But a little bit, of, how can I say? So, so I, I understand some of the, our members now setting up the, for the praise band. So they they setting up some tools and material in the fellowship hall. But uh, it's a, it's a glass. So our bishop is now come to meet each one of us to having a share the God's love and grace. So is, is it okay to? So why not we give a big hand? So he's 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 coming from. Thank you, Pastor. It's good to be here with you here at uh, Columbus. I am an en route to Omaha, Nebraska for the installation for our, uh, one of our newest superintendents in the Missouri River, Elkhorn Valley, Stephanie Alshweed. And I uh, visited uh, Genoa yesterday. They had a great day, uh, a remembrance for the, native, for the Indian school there. And so I was making plans to be there, and somehow Marilyn Zering found out <clears throat> that I'd be in the area. And so I was traveling in Ohio last week, and my executive assistant said, Marilyn wants to know if you're going to be uh, in Genoa and where you're going Sunday. And so I said, how far is Columbus from Genoa? And so she said, just 15 minutes. And I said, well, I'll, sh I'll be at Columbus then. So it's good to be here. appreciate uh, that. Marilyn and I have been friends for many years, served together in the church probably since 2004. And uh, so she keeps me connected with what happens here at uh, Columbus. Met uh, uh, the young man here who... Ramani, we met at uh, Camp Fontenelle probably last May, I think. The first day of camp. I think the camps were just starting. And some other folk I know who've served on our boards of committees. But it's good to be here uh, with you to worship and appreciate your pastor. And Sarah, who had us over for dinner last night, had a wonderful, wonderful night. Uh, welcome and hospitality here in Columbus. And just want to say thank you for the work that you do and for your witness. And just have heard uh, last night about everything that you've done and what you do here at this church. It's a blessing, and we're thankful uh, for your work. So thank you for having me and for giving me a few minutes. Appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you, my bishop. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. So why not give a big hand? So just really appreciate it. So come. So I think he's the first time to visit our church uh, since uh, he began the bishop's law, and also he came to the OC buildings. So I appreciate it. So uh, before we having a service, let us uh, share about joy and concern. So we want to celebrate your birthdays and your anniversaries. So the reason we gather in this place to, uh, how can I say, joyful and to be uh, the good friends of in the Christ, Jesus Christ. So have any joy and concerns? La raise your hands. I'm the good man. So we want to celebrate your birthday and your anniversary. Well, if you have any prayer request, let us know. And Miss Lisa? Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. You can hear my voice, isn't it? Okay, that's good. That's good. Also, I got a memo. The Lone Lane is now 70th birthday, isn't it? So also, I remember who was born the month of the August, and especially this week, who was born is very handsome and very diligent and very nice. It's my birthday. So yes. <laughs> very. <laughs> Good looking <laughs> and very smart, <laughs> and and who I am. So uh, I also have a birthday in this week, so we wanna uh, celebrate your birthday as well or anniversary. Turned 16 last week. The last, okay. I know you are very handsome, isn't it? Good looking. <laughs> you are very smart. 
like me. That's good. <laughs> Why not we celebrate happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, this is time to the passing the peace of Christ. Uh, let, let us move our body and shaking your hands and reach out to our bishops or our friends or uh, somebody and passing the peace of Christ. At least five people, you know. Uh, August 17. Yeah, 17. <laughs> Peace be with you. Thank you. Peace be with you, my bishop. Thank you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you, Scott. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Thank you. Peace with you. Peace with you, sir. Thank you. Peace with you, Jeff. Thank you. Peace with you. <laughs> 40. <laughs> Just 40. 40, 40. 40 even? Yeah, 40 even. Thank you, Grandpa. Great Grandpa. Thank you, Mr. Todd. Miss Ben. Peace with you. Thank you. Peace with you. Peace with you, sir. Thank you. Peace with you, Miss Lisa. Peace with you. Peace with you. Thank you. Peace with you. Maybe sit it. <laughs> I, I, I understand. So we, we so much love when we share the God's love and grace each other. We feel the presence of God. God give us this wonderful church to share God's love and grace each other. So just go out to the world and speak. So this, this is moment uh, for the prayer. I just want to ask you, I always ask you, pray for who? Please pray for yourself. You are wonderfully and fearfully made by God. Please pray for yourself. And then pray for who? Your loved ones and friends or family or your relative. And then finally pray for what? All the nations who are need God's hope and peace. Let us pray. We want to take a little bit of a silent prayer and then I will provide the uh, blessing. Let us pray. We come to you today in the midst of the stormy day. We are like the disciple in the boat, feeling afraid and terrified by the strong wind and waves. We cry out to you, my Lord, my Lord, save me. We ask you open our heart to you so that we can experience your peace and hope. We pray that you will give us the courage to take a step toward you, even when we are in afraid. We are, we are pray that 
when we need your help, we will shout and cry out to you. You will immediately reach out your hand to save us and help us. We pray for those who are especially facing stormy days in their lives. We pray for those who are sick and grieving and struggling financially. We pray that you will give them your peace and hope, and that you will help them to take a step toward you. And we pray for the peace all over the nations, and help us to work together to create more just and loving society. We're now asking for your blessings. Please bless our family, friends, and all the nations. Let them know our God is the hope and love of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Jesus Christ taught us to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine in the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And will the usher come forward for today's offerings? Let us pray, so you can see the opening prayer on the screen. Forgiving God, the first offering you ask for is the giving of ourselves, loving you and others boldly, refusing to let our fear of the storms around us and keep us from taking risks. Forgive us for the times when you have called us to leave our places of comfort and we have ignored the call. Forgive us when our giving has not grown beyond our safety zones, but you bless our gifts and us in any way. For those times when we are there to put our foot outside the boat and then sunk up to our knees, and thank you for not taking your hands away. For all this, we give a thanks in the holy name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. May be seated.
This morning's scripture lesson is from the 10th chapter of Romans, beginning at the 5th verse. Moses writes this about the righteousness that is by the law. The person who does these things will live by them. But the righteousness that is by faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down. Or who will descend into the deep? That is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and you are justified. And it is in your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame, for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on his name, on the name of the Lord, will be saved. How then can you say, how then can you call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one who they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. And hear these words from Matthew 14, beginning at the 14th verse. When Jesus heard what had happened, he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place. Hearing of this, the crowds followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food, something to eat. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said, and he directed the people to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was about 5,000 men, besides women and children. May God add a blessing and to the hearing and understanding of this word. Thank you, Mr. Lockie. God bless you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I want to begin my sermon with one joke. So, just one joke. One day, a daughter is, came to a father's, and I came to the mother, the mother first. <laughs> I came to the mother's and asking her one question. It's about how the mankind's begun. Daughter came to mommy's and asking one question. How the humans begun. And mommy had a big smile and let her, let her daughters know, yes, honey, the humans create by God, fearfully and wonderfully. And daughter had a big smile as well. And she came to her daddy, fathers, and asking the same questions. Hi, daddies, I have one question. It's about how the human begin. And daddy have a smile on. Yes, the human evolved and descended from monkey. You can see the monkey in the Jew. They are our father or mother. And, the, and daughter have a confused because mommy said, we are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. But her father said, we are descendant from monkey. And daughter turned back to her mommy and hey, mommy, mommy, I have a talk with my father. 
And he said, we are descendants and evolved from the monkey. Mommy had a big smile and said to her, yes, we are created by God. But your father was coming from monkey. <laughs> I may ask you one question. What does it mean to have faith in your life? What does it mean to have faith in your life? We know the meaning of faith is not understandings. The meaning of faith is not knowledge. The faith is not knowledge. But what does it mean, the faith? The faith means, is, please repeat my word after me. Believe. Believe. We have our one faith. It makes us believe. Even though we cannot prove or see. Today's sermon topic is, what are you looking for in your life? What are you looking for in your life? Particularly today's scripture reading describes one story. Let us read it together. But by this time, the boat is battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them, and early in the mornings, he came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they are terrified and saying, It's a ghost, and they cried out in fear. After Jesus feeding 5,000 people with the five loaf of bread and two fish, he sent his disciples to the other side of the sea. He sent his disciples to the other side of the sea. And Jesus go up to the mountain to pray. When they are sailing on the sea, in the middle of the sea, they, they cowed in the heavy storm. The storm made a big wave and wind it against their boat. They are terrified. They are praying for their life. The boat was waving. Their life is now scared by the storm. In those time, Jesus was walking to them. Jesus was coming to them. But some of the disciples spoke to Jesus. It's a ghost. Even though they watched that Jesus was coming to them, they spoke to Jesus, they point to Jesus, it's a ghost. And some of them was crying out in fear. Even they watched, Jesus is coming to you, coming to us, and coming to them. They were in afraid. The story reminds us we are, we are now all in the boat for our life journey. We are now all in the boat for our life journey. Sometimes we can be caught in the heavy storm. The storm will make a heavy wind. The storm will wave our faith in God. But through today's scripture readings, we want to try to find and discover what to do and what we are looking for in our life. First, please repeat my word after me. Open your heart. Open your heart. Let us lead it together. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Yes, Jesus' disciples were scared by the storms. Their faith was waving by the storms. They are doubting. 
They cry out of fear. But Jesus never rebuked their lack of faith. Jesus never rebuked their doubtings. Jesus simply said to them, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. I'm now come to you. Do not be afraid of your life. Do not be scared by the storm. I'm come to you. I'm come to you. Sometimes we are in the time of fear and uncertainties. It can make us shake our faith in God. But God always comes to each one of us. Take a heart. It is I. I'm now come to save your life. Second, Please repeat my word after me. Take a step. Take a step. Let us lead together. Paul answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water and came toward Jesus. When Peter met Jesus cried, he asked him, Jesus, Jesus, my Savior, let me walk on the water. Let me walk on the water. And Jesus simply said to him, what? Come. Just come to me. Just come. Just come to me. I just come to save you, but please come to me. Please come to me. What do you need today? What do you want to ask you to our God? Yes, we want to receive God's hope and blessing and peace in our life. But God saved each one of us. Take a step toward me. I want to give you blessing. So, sir, please repeat my word after me. Shout to God. Shout to God. Shout to God. Shout to God. Let us live it together. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became the frightened and began to sink. And he cried out, Lord, save me. And Jesus immediately reached out his hand and called him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? Peter came to Jesus, and he is walking on the water. But when the heavy storm is waving his face, he was begun to sink into the water. And Peter said to the God, My Lord, my Lord, please save me. Please help my life. My Lord, my God, please save my life. He cried out and shouted to God for his help. And God heard his voice. And God immediately reached out his hand to save. Bless our life. Sometimes we shall shout, we shall cry out to God. Yes, we can feel kind of the darkness and evil things is now come to the play in our life. But God will hurt when you shout and cry out to God. We believe in God, everything is possible. Because God made the impossible possible. What did I say? We can do everything in God. Because God made the impossible possible. We 
are the children of God. Let us shout and cry out to God, God will come and save you and bless your life. Let us live together. I want to close my sermon with this last sentence. Let us live together. And no sins of all, and worship the Him, and say, Truly, you are the Son of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for coming to open our heart and spirit. So we now praise you and follow you now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let us sing together, Lord of the Dance. Would you stand, uh, would you stand if you can? a circle and let us uh, sing. <coughs> let us make a circle. But if you are comfortable to make a circle, it's okay. I will be, oh, uh, I will be with you. So let us make a circle and let us sing together. Uh, there is something about that name. So, oh, it, it's okay. 